Okay. Finished it. What the? Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! oh, oh, oh. I guess I'm not going to tell you guys just yet of what's going on. Can I move? Oh, I don't think so. Nope. Well, well. Look at what the Kaji dragged in. So wonderful to finally meet the one who's been hindering my search parties. I'll explain once I get out of this. You sent them to Captain Marisi. You won't get her. There doesn't need to be any trouble. If you think this pitiful binder can hold me, then you're in for a surprise. Ah, uh, there doesn't need to be any trouble. No, oh, there isn't any. From where I'm standing. Yet. Now speak. I don't want to. I'm just looking for the password to your spell. Give me that and I'll leave in peace. I... feel like I shouldn't be that forthcoming with information. Oh, my dear. I think it's a bit too late for that. But as I enjoy the look of hopelessness, the password is power. But you're stuck here, in my trap. And my toy soon will be back in my clutches, without you watching over her every moment. It's very convenient that you told I me the password. I think I'll let you sit here while I do that. And when I come back, I'll have two toys. Can I just go, please? Do try not to pass out. I'm gonna try. Try to escape, somehow, if it's possible. Alright, so... Uh, long story short... Uh-oh, what just happened? I heard something. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Am I going somewhere? What's going on? I just want to explain- Oh! Did, did someone help? Read the note. Did someone help? Yeah, it's English. I'm sure by now you've realized you stand no chance against Isael on your own. Lucky for you, there are others who would also see her destroyed if you truly care. For your cats, you will meet me as soon as you can. We will provide you with the key you need to put an end to things once and for all. You'll know how to find us when the time is right. Yul Quarian. Oh, is that the guy that... That Isael mentioned very early on? I guess I should probably go back to... Is this saying that I didn't read the casebook? I know I read the casebook, don't tell me that. Don't you dare put that on me. Okay, there we go. So... Uh, long story short, what Isael did was she convinced Mauricia that the only way um, to keep her brother alive, to keep her brother safe, was if she underwent the experiment that would make her appear uh, more human or more elven and just less like a Khajiit. And then once, you know, Mauricia went, underwent the uh, transformation and everything, Isael said, okay, you know, you've saved your brother, you're... All good, you just have to continue doing what I say, and you're essentially, like, my protege now. The local and, oh, no, you shut up now. And Marisi even went on to attend a Thalmor Ball. And at the Thalmor Ball, Isael said, Oh, look, we brought your brother so that you can see him. And then the brother had been killed and sort of resurrected. Not really resurrected, but raised as an undead, which... Caused Marisa to, you know, obviously freak out. Ooh, is she wearing robes? I'll talk to you in a second. I just need to finish telling your story. Uh, that's when Marisi shut down, and then Isael realized, like, well, I'm not getting anything out of her now, so what I need to do is I need to clear her memory so that she forgets all of this, and I have to live her, let her have a little bit of freedom. So she hired um, one of her servants, another Khajiit, to uh, give Marisi a note and a satchel that would allow her to essentially just, like, kind of leave her room and just kind of have a little bit of freedom. But instead, the Khajiit actually freed Marisi and gave her the satchel that we found. And I'm guessing that Khajiit was Sahara. Hey, Marisi. You're back! Now she will know who she is at last! Well, listen, there's, there's something you need to know. You couldn't get it? Was the word so well hidden? Uh, no, it was actually incredibly convenient that she just kind of told it to me. It's... it's great. It's not that, but we need to have a talk. No time to talk. Just go find her the word already. She can't wait. She needs to know to remember. No, you're gonna feel terrible. I know the word. Miri... Miri. I'm calling you Miri now? Then no more talking, no? Hurry up with the mage! I guess I'm giving you... nicknames now. Hey, Rianne! So, we're all set? Yes, everything's ready. Are you? I am indeed. I just need the password. Did someone just tell me I need to leave? Wait, who's telling me to leave? Uh, power. 
You oh! Need to leave. Who's telling us to leave? You consider restoration a valid school of magic? Worthy of study? Don't you? Rianne just don't said... You? She just said you were gone for a few days. Of course it's valid. Good. Good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some... And I shan't name names. Who would disagree? It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. So do you think she's yelling at me or at Marisi? Because she's Until out next here. Time. You need to leave. Who is she talking to? Get out of here before I call the guards. I'm guessing she's... Oh, is she talking to Rianne? So, we're all set. So here's one of the major choices that I'm guessing influences the ending, is whether you I tell the truth or not. So, we're all set? Because if I tell her the wrong word... You need to I am leave. indeed. I just need the password. It erases all of Marisi's memories. That are locked away. And... I feel like I understand the reasoning behind that. It's obviously more of a... A mercy choice, which... Get it? The word is even mercy. But... Holy fuck. One second. I need you. That's right, you. To shut up. Alright? Good? We're good. So, we're all set? Yeah, we're fine. I am indeed. I just need the password. I feel like Marisi would be mad if I gave the wrong word. And... I don't know. She wants to know what happened. And as much as it might hurt her... I feel like, you know, that old saying, the truth will set you free. So, the word is power. <laughs> A very Aunt Mary sentiment. Alright. Let's head up to the roof where we won't be disturbed. Alright. I'm just gonna let you guys go up first, and now just... Nope, she's gonna say... She gonna say it again? Yeah, I think she's staring you at Rianne. To leave. I think Rianne counts as trespassing. Relax, please. Wouldn't I you? swear, if Colette comes up here. Easier said. Power. I feel really bad for what's about to happen. This is not going to go well. She's going to start crying, isn't she? No. 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 All right, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Marisi, you okay? Marisi, can you hear me? No. Stay back away from her. Please. Mercy. She cannot. She cannot take it. Please. No more she begs of you, mistress. Do not come any closer to her. Wait. I gotta calm you down. Oh, don't, don't, don't jump. Don't jump. No, she no, Marisi. You. Stop it. Marisi, Marisi. no. Uh, oh, oh, no. By the eight. Oh, that's not good. Okay. What? What? Okay, well, she's alive. Okay. Um. Hey, Rianne. What in the name of the eight happened? How is she? Can, can, can I make it nine? I'm gonna say the name of the nine. What happened? She's breathing, but she's far from good. Her mind shattered under the force of all the trauma in her memories. Maybe not my best idea. If she's still able to speak at all, she'll be trapped in her past completely. And her body's in about the same shape after that fall. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought that this was the right thing to do. Well, you know what they say about oblivion and good intents. Now here's the good news. I can mend her body and likely her mind as well. But there may be side effects. I thought I was doing the right thing. I knew that it was going to hurt, but I didn't think she was going to try and kill herself. Side effects? Like, scars? The last thing she saw during the process was you. That's going to burn into her instincts. A lot like when she was afraid of the name Azale without knowing why. But did she forget? So, it'll be a battle with her consciousness between that ingrained mortal terror and her current knowledge of you. Wait. She may never see you again without running in fear. Wait a second. So her memories... Since she met me, they're all gone? Why would that... 
Okay. That's interesting. It's better than her dying. Please, take good care of her. Naturally. But it's going to take some time. Some time that would be better spent elsewhere, for you. I'm sorry, but the less she has to deal with right now, the better. Fair enough. I understand, but I do have a favor to ask. Get her some sweet rolls and salmon. They're her favorites. I can do that. Don't worry, in about three days you can come back, and she'll be as close to her old self as I can get her. Alright, wait. Three days while Marisi is recovering. So I'm just gonna literally head outside and wait for three days. Now where's the exit? There it is. Alright, wait three days, speak with Rianne. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. Well, maybe you should play the uh, the quest line and then become the Archmage. Because I'm certainly not going to do it right now. I have more important things to do. Alright, Rianne? Oh, she's still asleep. Okay. How is she? Look, she's all better. Well, mostly. In order to save her, I had to purge her memories again. So we're right back where we started. It's a lot like pulling glass out of a wound and stitching it. She'll remember bits and pieces, but for the most part, it's raw emotion she doesn't know what to do with. But she is in a very fragile place right now, so just... Just be careful, okay? So she remembers me, then. I've noticed that there's a slight sort of white noise at the end of a lot of people's uh, dialogue. I don't know if you've, you guys have heard it, but whenever a character stops talking, there's a couple seconds where you just hear... Psst, but I don't hear it on Maurice, it's only the other NPCs, so I'm not sure what that is. No, you! Uh-oh. She... she... but... No, it's you, it's fine. It's fine, Maurice. Hey there. No, don't. Please don't hurt her. I didn't hurt you, you jumped off a... you jumped off a building, I had nothing to do with that. Miri? Kitten? I don't know when I started calling you Miri. Oh my god. Are you kidding me with this shit again? You... you. She's your protege, alright? You're gonna get out of here. You're gonna do us all a favor. That was the wrong command that I was gonna type. Oh my god. Your boss doesn't like you. You're fired, I guess. No, you. She. She. But. No, it's fine. No, don't. Please don't hurt her. See, I got rid of the mean lady. Miri? Kitten? I don't know when I started calling you Kitten. Also, you were the oldest sibling. I shouldn't be calling you a kid. She. She knows you. She. Thinks she should be afraid, but... Marisi, I'm so sorry. I had no idea this would happen. I honestly thought I was doing the right thing. I I realize that there's good and bad things about either one, but I feel like she would be a lot angrier at me if I didn't tell her the truth or let her know the truth for herself. She... she knows you were only doing what she asked. She's sorry she worried you. Aww... Oh, her feelings are all wrong. They tell her to be scared of you. But you will never hurt her on purpose. Oh, that's sweet. She knows you care for her. And she cares for you too. Well, that's adorable. You probably shouldn't be drinking right now. You're in a very fragile place. I'm glad you're okay. I don't know what would have happened to me if I lost you. I probably would have played another mod. Well, of course you would have gotten yourself into many traps and had nobody to save you, no? She's the only thing that keeps you out of trouble. Uh... You should thank her for being okay. I don't know about that. Uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Marisi. Now that she's all better, she thinks she should eat. Even that frozen, boring tavern will do. She'll lead you across the bridge so you don't fall off, and you can get her some. How clumsy does she think I am? Don't answer that. Wait. Wait. Marisi? Is she all right now? I don't know. She's... She's gone. She disappeared. Where did she go, Rianne? I can't talk to Rianne anymore. If I sit in the chair... I don't know why I would sit in the chair. Um... I'm gonna make a save? Not a quick save, just a, a regular save. Because I still have the quick save before I... told her... You know, about herself and everything, so I'm gonna go outside and see if she's there. Because otherwise I'm just not entirely sure. Services. Also, let's... Let's put back... 
few things Colette, keep us in touch she's going to yell at her quote-unquote protege. Yep, there you go, of course. I'm going to go outside and see if I can find Marisi, because I don't know where the fuck she is right here. Oh, right now. Whoa, I got stopped. Oh, no. Oh, you really must be something special if you're able to escape my trap. I'd have liked to use you as one of my toys. But I see now, you're far too troublesome to allow you to continue breathing. Can we not kill me? Shame, really? Oh, she's gonna stab me. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Ow! Come on! That hurt. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Can you get out of here? You see I'm in the middle of something? Hi. Take it easy. You're not healed yet. I wasn't able to do as much as I would have liked. What? You need to leave. Holy fuck, everyone hates her. I guess they didn't set her you as being part of the Mages Guild, like the factions and everything. Ugh, I feel like every bone in my body is being gnawed on by cave trolls. At least she can't get arrested by the guards. Rian, you need to leave. what happened to Marisi? Is she safe? Um, not really. You need no. To leave. After Isaiah bolted you, she and her guards took Marisi. You need to leave. I'm not sure where. Damn it, I have to rescue her. You need to leave. Slow you down. need to leave. You won't do anything for her if you fall over and freeze to death. Stop Just give me a few more minutes. Please, hurry. Going as fast you as I can. Do you have any clues as to where she might be? Um, literally none. You Maybe one. Leave. Here, look at this. Oh, the case book, yeah. Looks like a note. You need to no, leave. wait. It's a scroll. Oh, never mind then. It's difficult to tell with the enchantment being you hidden like that. Leave. Use it at your own risk. My lead is an Altmer. I'm not sure where I can... I'm not sure I can trust him. Sounds like you have to take that chance. Okay, I think you should be alright. Go see this Altmer, and maybe he can help. Holy crap. Rianne, you need to leave. Even I'm agreeing with him now, because no one is going to shut the hell up. Un oh. She left. Nope, never mind. You need to leave. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Mage's Guild does not like Rianne. Oh my god, I get it. Use the teleportation scroll. Alright, scrolls. Scroll of teleportation. Location yet unknown. This reminds me of Enderal, because I always uh, use teleportation scrolls. Boop! Oh. Hello there. I just wanted to equip my sword. Hi. Well, it's about time. I was starting to wonder if you were ever going to show up for our little meeting. You were hunting Marisi in Riverwood on Isale's behalf. What reason have you given me to trust you? Well, we could start with saving you from Isahel, or maybe delaying her long enough for you to reach the college when you decided not to heed my advice. Or perhaps because I'm standing peacefully with one who is supposed to be my enemy, but is instead helping me defeat Isahel. You're sitting. You do raise good points, but I remain wary. You'd be foolish otherwise. Isahel has taken the cat to her fortress in the Thalmor Embassy. God damn it. It will be difficult to break into, but not impossible. Don't you worry about difficult. It's what we do best. Who's the commander? Indeed. Now, if my guess is right, I'd say she's in her private rooms, using her personal torture chamber. Though for what? I really can't say. It's obvious. We need to do this without your involvement being known. I can send a few of my finest ahead to thin out their ranks a bit, and open up a path. Once Isahel is distracted, we can deal with the rest of the Thalmor on guard throughout the building. Just don't forget. You will be dealing with probably the most powerful mage in Skyrim. Even one with your capabilities would need assistance. I usually do. Take and use what we've prepared for you. And don't waste time. Those torture chambers are cold so for a reason. I don't think you'll need to worry. Isahel likes to take her time with her pets. So, what do you think? Can you handle this? Or do you have some better ideas? Isael is a great threat to Nern. Even without Marisi, I'll do what I must to stop her. Don't worry about me if Isael needs to die for Marisi to be safe. 
I'll make sure it happens. We'll only get one chance to do something like this. So I need you to keep your head away from the Khajiit's tail until we can finish off Israel. What you do after, that's on you. Alright, so I tell him when I'm ready, which means check the supplies. Balmy- wait. I can't read the book? I cannot read the book. It's just food here. Can't search the table. What supplies are here? What is he talking about? He's like, we've gathered supplies for you. I don't see any supplies at all. Alright. Ready. Then it is settled. Good luck. You're going to need it. Oh, I'm as sure. As well as this trinket. Oh! Don't forget to put it on, or Izahel will easily catch you once again. I'll put it on right now. If I can. Can I? Nope, I can't. Not right now. You find yourself outside the embassy in the middle of the night. Cold wind whips up the snow beneath your feet, shrouding you in an icy mist not far from you. Lies the gate flanked by guards in golden armor, making them easy to spot in the moonlight. The black armor of the special forces isn't nearly as visible. Until it is far too late, the guards fall quickly and hurry inside, barring the door behind you to prevent any attacks from behind. Never should have come here. Uh-oh. I am going to put on that amulet, like I was told to. Was it Amulet of Protection? Going down, everyone. They're a lot easier than the guys in glass armor that I had to fight earlier. Okay, that's locked. Anyone have a key? Nope, just four gold. I'm guessing one of the people down here might have the key. No. And... No. Well, I need to find the key. It's a good damn question where the key is. Hello? We might be searching for a little while. I can't search the cupboards or anything. And that's where I would imagine the key would be. Alright, let's go downstairs. Requires a key. Okay, because... Well, I understand why they're locking this off, because that leads into stuff for... Um, Skyrim's main quest, so they're just trying to not create conflict. That I understand. The problem is there's a locked door up there. That requires a key, and unless that's part of... Hmm. Unless I have to go outside. No, I can't go outside. Never mind. Now I'm confused where I'm supposed to go. Because they can't open that door, it seems. Otherwise, they would have opened it and already attacked me. Alright, let's try to figure this one out. Alright, so I looked up the walkthrough for this on the... On the mods page, and it says that there's supposed to be a third enemy that I'm supposed to kill before fighting... Her, and after I fight the third enemy, who's supposed to be named, that's when she unlocks the door and comes out, so there is no key. But obviously the third enemy never spawned, so I guess the only thing I can really do is load my save, my previous save, back in the hall and just play back through this area and hopefully the person that I'm supposed to fight spawns. Alright. Alright, there's a third enemy this time it looks like. Here we go, Alaria. This is who I'm supposed to fight. This is the third person that was supposed to spawn and just didn't for whatever reason last time. All right, come back here. Please stop running away from me. You can't go through that door. All right, we're all good. Find a sail. Oh, hey there. Such an amusing unexpectedness. I. I mean, I have imagine no words. my surprise when the bug I crushed beneath my heel not only began to walk again, but came to confront me? <laughs> Truly a foolish insect. That's me. Or is it an instinctive behavior? Perhaps you have somehow attached to that little feline? Your reign of terror is done, you irredeemable witch. I'm going to kill you and take Marisi far away from here. Oh, aren't you a sweetheart? My pet's lover has come to its rescue. Well, we're friends. We're just friends. Honestly, you've made re-breaking it that much easier. 
when you'll die before its very eyes. <laughs> the despair on its face will be delicious. Oh, kill her. I can do that. I don't know who you think you are to attack me in such a manner. You attacked me first. Even though your brutish nature may allow you to fight on an even playing field, my magics are stronger than anything you possess. I have an amulet of protection. Now you'll go with me. I want to see my pretty pet losing all its hopes for the start. Oh, what shall we do next? The amulet grows cold around your chest as Isael continues her soliloquy. The colder it grows, the more you can feel control returning to your body until at last the amulet shatters, giving you full control of your body and immunity from further control spells. Oh! Oh, I'm about to die! Oh, no, now is not the time to die. Okay, that was real close. Let me shout! It's not letting me shout! Come on, game, let me... God damn it, it's not letting me shout. All right. That's not good for me. Fuck. All right, I'm fighting inside her room this time. Or I'm fighting a little bit further closer to her room. And I'm going to take out the Dramora, Dramora this time. Oh, and she's about to kill me. So let's have those potions again. Let's charge at her. I don't know who you think you are. To attack me in such a manner. That skull just fell. You and want to pick that up? Even though your brutish nature may allow you to fight on an even playing field, my magics are stronger than anything you possess. You should pick that up. Now you'll go with me. I want to see my pretty pet losing all its hopes for the start. Oh, what shall we do next? And now I kill you. Huh. Of surprises. <laughs> and she summoned another. Oh, that Dramore is right on top of me. Wait, wait, I can kill her. Oh. Oh, thank God. That was close. Alright, so let's just heal up. It's very lovely. I feel all better now. Isael's key and nothing else I care about. Well, I'm guessing I have to do something. Oh! 